Welcome. My name is Owen Nielsen. I'm from Great Basin Museum. And this structure behind me is Fossil Mountain. And with a name like that, I'm sure you can imagine why we're here. This is one of the most fossiliferous areas in the country. And by fossiliferous, I mean you can find just about everything from this time period in these rocks. Now, let me start by talking a little bit about formations. Uh, geologists are concerned mainly about two different things. They're concerned about the rocks and what's in them, and they name rocks according to formations. Formations are usually named after locations where the type specimen are found. And the other thing they're interested in is time, and that would be the period in the Paleozoic to which the rocks belong to. Now, these rocks here are pretty much from the middle Ordovician. Um, and let me kind of point out where they are. The rocks we are standing on, the bedrock that we're standing on, is called the Juab limestone. And the uh, next formation above it is the Kanosh Shale. Now the Kanosh Shale is that brownish gray uh, layer on the mountain up there that goes up to that first little thin ledge that goes across there from left to right. And above that little ledge up to the massive ledges is a formation called the Lehman Formation. Now above the Lehman Formation, among the massive rocks up there, is the Watson Ranch Quartzite, the Crystal Peak Dolomite, and then right on top, the Eureka Quartzite. Now these rocks here are pretty much a mixture of everything that's come down off that mountain. So they're all different rocks from those different formations. But the, the rocks we're most interested in are the Kanosh Shale. That's where the fossils become most rich and most, uh, most plentiful. And our cameraman is, is panning to those samples from the Kanosh Shale. Um, now let me read to you what uh, Dr. Hensey said. This is a quote from 1987, and it's referring mostly to the Kanosh. He says, the Ordovician rocks of Millard County, especially the formation present here, that's at this mountain, represent the most diverse assemblage of lower Ordovician fossils in North America and perhaps in the entire world. Now these fossils are not sought out that actively by collectors because they're beat up so badly. Obviously, these organisms lived on a seashore on a high energy environment situation and they were beat up and broken up into little pieces before they were ever fossilized and that's why they're not sought after that much by collectors but if you don't mind getting out your magnifier and looking at them closely you're literally amazed at what you can see in these rocks this uh, Kanosh shale is called bioclastic, meaning, and now class refers to the pieces that are in there, meaning that the, the pieces that make up these rocks are biological in origin. In other words, they're fossilized organisms, although just pieces. And let me read to you here some of the organisms that are found in probably most of them, or many of them, in this actual piece of rocks you're looking at here. There's trilobites, conodonts, brachiopods, graptolites, cephalopods, gastropods, echinoderms, sponges, ostracods, bryozoa, pelycopods, corals, microorganisms, particularly cyanobacteria, and other trace fossils. So you can imagine why geologists who are interested in, uh, in tracing faunal zones and so on are very fascinated by these rocks. Now one other rock I'd like to show you is the acephalopod. And 
they, they, now that's not a very good sample, but they were the top predator in the Kanash Shale. And in the Denver Museum, there's one of those that's about seven feet long. They were uh, related to the nautiloids that we find in the deep oceans today. Only at this time, the shells were straight, as you can see from this sample. These uh, creatures hadn't yet developed the ability to coil their shell. So it's called a straight-shelled nautiloid. But that's one of the prized um, fossils that we look for in these rocks. So, now you know why Fossil Mountain is so famous. There's been innumerable field trips made out to this location by junior high students from the local area schools. And, and you can see why if you realize what's in these rocks. The diversity here is unsurpassed. I don't know if there's rocks anywhere else in the world where you can find so many creatures fossilized in, in, in one rock sample, such as what you find here. So the place to look for these fossils would be the lower slope on the mountain behind me here. So I think I'll wander up there and see if I can get lucky and find something kind of interesting. So thank you for your time. Appreciate you listening.